Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Weapon. Welcome back to Terraria. Today, today is the day we will kill the Cthulhu, oh, the Eye of. No, we will. We're taking on the Eye of Cthulhu, as you as you will see here in a few minutes. I've actually done a lot of upgrades to the uh, arena, and I also did a little bit. Uh, of sneaky I went mining off camera I did a lot of mining off camera and I got a couple of things that are gonna help us immensely I got some flurry boots I went delving into the uh, the snow biome and got also a blizzard in a bottle so now we are able to double jump but like I told you guys and gals out there that if I did go doing go do a lot of stuff off camera and I, w I told you I would calculate my death so ding 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 the l last episode the the counter was broken I, I know but the counters working again today so <laughs> there we go added add three deaths to the counter uh, it's okay though because we got a bunch of hearts out of the out of it uh, let's see, where did I put those hearts? Did I put them in my piggy bank? Uh, I went ahead and made a heart lantern for our arena because I, I had a bunch of hearts. I know I could have used them, but uh, I thought a heart lantern might actually help because it actually gives us uh, health regen. And I thought, especially when we're doing like boss battles and stuff, we need a lot of that passive health regen to help us live longer rather than having to use potions all the time. So let me see, where did I put those hearts? There they are. There's three heart crystals that I, I got a total of five. I turned two of them into um, heart lanterns so we could use in our bases, in our arenas, and pretty much anywhere. I put it in the piggy bank down here so that way if we need any access to it later, we'll actually have access to it pretty much anywhere we are as long as we have the piggy bank in our hands. So I'm going to take these life crystals and boop, 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 or I have... Uh, auto pause on because I don't want the time to pass too much so there we go 240 health let's go grab our buff potions it's time let's grab one of you one of you one of you one of you uh, iron skin archery potion and the suspicious looking eye and let's go let's do this oh wait I need my arrows get my jester arrows out there we go. So here we go. Let's do this. Oh boy, why are you lag? Press B. Get her bow out. Let's do this. Today is the day, suspicious looking eye. You are going to die. Ah, and see, as you can see, I, I did a lot of upgrading to the uh, to the arena. Oh boy. I added a bunch of, uh, as you can see, campfires. The heart lantern, as you can see, is right there. I really can't point it out to you. Just, oh, don't get off, get off that. All right, here, here's this transformation. Let's see if we can get all these little eye servants out of the way. Oh, jump. Oh great, he's going crazy already. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh. All right, chill out there. Yes, chill out, please chill out. You have a thousand health. Let's go the other way. Ow, stupid eye. See, last time he started doing that, I wasn't able to hit him all too well because he was going inside the ground. But now that I've raised the, uh, the platform up a little bit, I'm able to hit him, it, while he's doing all his crazy stuff. And the flurry boots are actually helping us keep ahead of him. Ooh, I have to take a hit every once in a while. 80 health. He's almost dead. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Oh, my God. We got him. Holy crap, we got him. Oh. Oh. I think it helped. I think the Heart Lantern actually did, did its job because we didn't have to use but maybe one potion. And that's right there at the end when he was just going crazy, 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 crazy. So let's get inside, of, inside the safety of the house and let's open our treasure bag. Oh, we got unholy arrows, some demonite, some corruption seeds. We're going to have to put those away and, and lock those away for, you know, safekeeping because we don't want... I don't want none of that stuff, corruption, getting out. I want to be able, when I do use the corruption, it will be for a farm, but I want it to be contained. Oh, we got a, a shield. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to use this. We're going to replace the uh, guide for plant fiber. Let's go put this in our, our thing. Oh, we killed him. We killed him. And, oh my gosh, so, I'm just so relieved. We probably could kill them again now. Now that I know I can kill them, I probably will farm the mess out of him. As long as I have the resources. Let's get these stars. We don't want to waste, we don't want to waste our good, good arrows, so let's just... The jester arrows are quite nice because they pierce. So let's oop, put that torch back. So let's put our jester arrows. I mean, we have left 171. Wow, we used quite a bit. That's okay. I'm not worried. We can always make more. Just just a matter of farming those delicious stars. And speaking of stars, they're one that just dropped. Where'd it go? Is it up here? Where'd it go? I heard it. Did you hear it? Ah, there you are. Gotcha. All right, so let's look. Let's go to our, let's close this door, so. All right, let's look to see what this demonite can do. We can turn demonite into demonite bars. We have 15, oh boy. So that allows us to make a demon bow if we wish, which I think Yes, we're going to make a demon bow because it does... Well, I mean, it does one extra point. Um, yes, let's just go ahead. It needs eight bars, so we'll go ahead and make ourselves a demon bow. And we can dash now. That's, that's I don't know how helpful that's going to be, but... We got some of the demon arrows. Let's see, where do they those, those go there? Twelve damage. Wow, which that's a lot. I wonder what you use. I wonder how you make these. Let's see. Let's ask Guide what all the crafting recipes for arrows is. All right, you got the Venom Arrow, which is 18 damage. Okay. Holy Arrow, which that's requires this one, Icker Arrow, that requires the Crimson. Hellfire Arrow, we can't make that yet. Hellstone Arrow, Unholy Arrow. We need worm's teeth, and we can make some unholy arrows. Which, can you even get worm's teeth pre-hard mode? I don't think you can. So, frost, frostburn arrows. Oh, dude. We can make a quiver. We need to, we need to get, we need to get a stacks of arrows. I think I have the money. So, let's, let's get the arrows. And let's make ourselves a quiver. I think it said we needed like 4,000. Oh, actually, let's... Before I go all crazy, I want to make sure we have the crafting station. Because I think it requires a crystal ball. Okay. So we don't have a crystal ball. So that's, that's not going to work. Uh, we can't get the crystal ball until we find the wizard. And then the wizard you can't find until... I think you can only find the wizard after you've gotten into the dungeon. So now that we've actually killed the Eye of Cthulhu, uh, I need to farm up, farm him, and get the demonite armor. Let's see if we can go. Let's see, do we have any more eyes? Yes, we have more lenses. Let's get six lenses. Six lenses. 
Oh my goodness, this bow shoots fast. Let's see if we can actually get some more eyes. Uh, I would like to fight some more of the demon eyes, please. And, of course, as many, uh, as many of those stars as you can give me. I actually want to put... Trying to keep ourselves protected from... Uh oh, hello, I. Oh, look, cool. Thank you for dropping a lens for me. But uh, I started putting these sunflowers here because I do not want the corruption to spread when uh, we turn this place hollow, when we fight the wall of flesh. But something tells me it's going to happen anyway. And we're probably going to need the steampunker to actually get that. That's situated and settled out. Man, I tell you, remember remember back when these things were... We were afraid to go near them, or I was afraid to go near them because of how strong they were. And how much they could kick our butts without even thinking. Yeah, not anymore. A lot of these things are just becoming really, really trivial. There we go, sunflowers for days. So we have seven demonite bars left, but I plan on fighting the Aya Cthulhu again, um, and I think I'll I'll keep it. I'll, I think I'll finish the episode with with killing Aya Cthulhu again. Since we start the episode killing him, I'll end the episode killing him. So let's get everything situated out where we can actually get down here. Let's see if we can make another suspicious looking eye, and we can. I actually want to make a couple of hearts, uh, crystal, uh, uh, mana crystals. We're not going to use mana, but it's it's probably good to have it maxed out just in case we decide to use things that do consume mana but are technically ranged. But I don't think anything like that happens. I know the space gun. That's the only exception to this this playthrough that I'm actually going to do is when we get the space gun. Even though it is a magic weapon, I'm actually going to use it because it it is ranged. So, I guess by that logic, anything that uh, that is a ranged attack, which pretty much is all magic. But it's not going to be magic based, I guess. Like the space gun, uh, be cool if we get the clockwork rifle. But uh, another thing that we probably could start working on is buying some dynamite from this guy. How much, how much is the dynamite? Ooh. It's expensive. It's really expensive. So, no. Uh, let's keep this. Let's keep some cobble or some stone on us. Let's actually go to the... While we're waiting for it to become nighttime again so we can summon the eye. Let's actually go and uh, delve into some of these crimson cracks. Like I like to call them. And need our rope. Let's use our vine rope first. Well, hello there. Uh oh. Ah. Something tells me they're not going to leave us alone while we're trying to do all this. I'll try my best to get down there. Even if I have to block myself off. Oh, that's pretty deep. And rope is really powerful at the beginning, early stages. Because it does things like this. You can get down in areas that you're not normally supposed to get down into. I mean, you could come down here at any time, I imagine, but... It's just a lot easier with rope, especially if you have a lot of it. Oh, hello. Oh, man, we just tore him apart with this new bow. Man. We just decimated him. Alright, so we got a few pieces of, of the vine rope left, so we can switch back to the, the actual rope rope. Oh, hello. Whew, that was close. I mean, we have lots of health now, so it's okay. It's okay. And I'm actually glad we actually killed the uh, Aya Cthulhu when we did. 
because that's going to allow us hit he's not going to spawn on us anymore well normally when you have more than 10 hearts he Aya Cthulhu has a chance to spawn randomly on any given night that's only if you haven't defeated him well since we've already defeated him he's not really going to be an issue so I am going to play the cheeky way out of this I'm actually going to block this area off actually I didn't it really didn't matter okay so let's block this area off so we can actually keep ourselves from being all spookified from this stuff. And I'm going to throw a couple of pieces of dynamite down there. Oh, well. Okay, maybe I should have clean did this before. Because all those blocks got broken. You know what? I have a grappling hook and I keep forgetting to ha that I have it. So let's throw another dynamite down there. Hope I'm not in the way. And this is the only way to actually break the ebon stone at the beginning stages of the game. There's no other way because your pick is not strong enough and you have to kill the eater of worms before the dryad comes up. So this is the only actual way I know, the only way I actually know to, um, get through the corruption I think it's gonna break it no nope. oh we need a hammer seriously ah uh. all right we should have enough material so let's head back to base let's actually use one of our mini recall potions and let's see what we can make. I've been, like I said, I went farming and I got a bunch of lead. I got a few things of tungsten. As you can see, I'm wearing a full tungsten armor set, which ironically enough, I made before, like last episode, after I died from the, to the Eye of Cthulhu. I made the headpiece and the chest piece and I had the exact same armor as I did with a full lead suit, which was, which was weird. So let's look what we can craft. We need a hammer. And it's probably best to make a hammer that is going to last us a while. And something that uh, is not really weak, but not really strong, too strong. But it looks like we can make a platinum hammer, which is 10 platinum bars, which we have, we have platinum. And we're not really going to go for platinum, um, platinum armor because we now can kill the Eye of Cthulhu. And farming him will allow us to get demonite. We can just jump straight to demonite armor if we wanted to. And especially when we go and kill the Eater of Worlds, which is coming soon, I promise you. Because we're killing the... Uh, we're actually killing the... Uh, what you call it now? The, the orbs, which killing or smashing three orbs will summon him. So we just we gotta wait. We can only smash two, and I'm hoping that one of them gives what I'm actually hoping for. Uh, there's a chance for guns to drop, and once we find a gun, the um uh oh, that was almost a bad thing. Once once we find our first gun, then the uh, gunsmith comes, and then we can start going for guns and buying our own bullets and and all that good stuff and guns seem to be a little bit more powerful but now that we've got this hammer we got a musket all right so that's our first gun oh hello and anybody wondering and anybody curious, this glowing stuff over here, this is actually Demon Knight stuff. That stuff up there. Let's see, can I make a sticky grenade or sticky bomb? Yes, I can make a sticky bomb. So I'm going to throw, throw a sticky bomb up there. I'm going to do it again. And we're actually going to get this Demon Knight ore out of the uh, crimson block. Uh-oh. Well, hello there. Well, that worm died quickly. So, 33 range damage. Man, that's that blows the damage we have out of the park. We're only doing 14. 
But it sh shoots slowly, though. That's the only problem. It shoots slowly. But we could probably use it. Let's test it out. We have 100 bullets. So might as well. So let's light this area up. Because we will eventually have to hollow this place out. Oh, and another thing. Now that we, we killed the, one of these orbs... Each orb that you kill has a chance for a meteor to drop, so I'm looking forward to getting the meteors down, because once the meteors come, we get to get uh, meteorite armor and the space gun. So that's that's going to be, ooh, sticky dynamite. Yes. I want it there. And then get my, get my butt out of here. There we go. And I'm going to break this. I found another musket. So we got our musket. Boom! Whoa! You see how much damage? Oh man, that is that makes things trivial. Oh man, that thing just chunked his health. Now we can't kill the third one. We can't blow up a third one, not until we're ready to kill the Eater of Worlds, which... We probably could fight right now, honestly, but I want to kill the Eye of Cthulhu again because I want to know if that was a fluke. I want to know if the, if, our, if the skills that I have in fighting him, and now that we actually have something that's a lot stronger. Now, that's another, that's another question I want to go for. Should I stick with bows or bow-type items like uh, a bow, crossbow... Uh, a repeater should I use those in arrows or should you think I should make the transition over to guns when I have a chance or just does it matter I mean I guess it would be pretty much to basically you know how much d damage it does so let me know down in the comments below what you think I'm really interested to know so 3 p.m. we probably could go put a lot of this stuff away which I'm going to And let's see, this is our weapons chest, so a regular musket. I'll keep the enchanted sword on me for reasons, because the enchanted sword is pretty good. Regeneration potion we got, that's nice. Platinum bow, I put that, I probably could sell that, honestly. Some more demonite ore. Oh, I missed him. Can't believe I missed. Alright, so we got plenty of lenses. We need to get more lenses, which they come. Once I start getting out and doing stuff more at night, collecting stars and killing all those demon eyes, now that we actually can without having too much trouble. So let's put this away with the demon eye ore. I think I can make another bar. Yes, I can. Well, I can make two bars. Which will allow us to make another bow. We can make another, a better fishing rod. So how much... Uh, let's make another heart or crystal. 200. I think that's... I think that's the last. 200. I think 200 is the max. I think... Yeah. I'm going to consider it the max because I'm not sure. And I don't want to make another one just in case it's not. So let's see. What can we make... Probably make some more jester arrows. Yeah, let's make uh, another hundred. Because it's about what we use to kill him. I'm actually going to use these um, unholy arrows on the next boss. Because it's going to pump it up. But I won't start using arrows until I get him down into the uh, you know the zooming phase. Because I don't want to waste ammo. We have, a, <laughs> we have an 195 musket balls and I want to try to save those because it's really hard hitting especially since it does 33 damage versus the the 14 we're actually doing so I don't think anybody blames me for doing that so let's put these corruption seeds away we really don't need potions six o'clock almost time almost time and for some reason I'm getting a lot of frame lag and latency don't know why 
So we might need to make. Ooh, I need to get in here really fast. I need to get a piece of this. I need a day bloom and a bottled water, and I need to make an iron skin potion. Yes, iron skin potion. Iron skin potion and reju rejuvenation potion is a must when it comes to fighting. Archery is 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 it okay? But uh, iron skin and rejuve is, is a must. Uh, shine potion, eh, I really don't need it. So, I'm going to put these potions down here. Actually, I'm going to stay here. There we go. Is it seven? Yes, it's seven. So, you ready to try this again? I am. Let's kill. Let's make sure the these are there, these are there, and... See what arrows am I shooting? Okay, we're shooting the demonite arrows. Good, good, good. So let's go again. Oh, must not be time. 7 p.m. There we go. Hello, Mr. I. Actually, let's. Switch to bow. I will have to say the bow's a lot faster, but the, the musket does a lot more damage. Oh, you're not gonna get me! Ha ha ha! Go back to my musket. Oh boy. got him again so now that I know I can kill him on a consistent basis I probably will start farming farming him let's see what we got in the bag this time 40 more demonite ore. oh man oh and that's warding too dude that's the like the best yes yes awesome so we got a good shield let's see how much more bars can we make 13 more plus what we have makes 22 and uh, you figured you would make be able to make some armor out of this but you can't that's you make a bunch of weapons and stuff light Spain fishing pole but uh, yeah that's it we killed I Cthulhu that's one boss in the bag and two more to go especially for pre hard mode but uh, I think the next one we'll be looking forward to killing is uh, the worm, the eater of worlds. And just a little tricky note, I actually want to get more jester arrows for that. So I'm going to have to do a lot of farming off camera, getting eyes and, and, and or not eyes, uh, doing a lot of, get more stars, more stars. But uh, yeah, thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, see you later.